Hi everyone, I'm Alaya Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Hot Android, and for today's lesson, we have Against All Odds by Phil Collins. It sounds just like this. Alright, what I just played was the intro and the first verse in the song. We're playing here in the key of B flat minor. And starting the intro, we're going to play E flat minor 7. I'm playing octave E flat on my left, with B flat, D flat, and E flat on my right hand. So the fifth, seventh, and the root. Then I'll go up playing A flat, A flat at 2, A flat and E flat on my left, C, E flat, A flat and B flat. Then for the next one I'm going to keep the same notes on my left, playing A flat and E flat, and switch to a regular A flat major, playing A flat, C and E flat on my right hand. That's for the three chords of the intro. Let's recap that. E flat minor 7. Then A flat at 2. And after that, we have A flat. Okay, here's the intro. So, we're going to start playing on E flat minor 7. We're going to play the full chord. Then we have one A flat using the thumb on the right hand. Played. And after that, we're going to go back up playing B flat. With the second finger. And after that, we're playing G flat followed by F. I'm going to play those two notes using my pinky. That's the pattern we have on E flat. Then we have this. So that's my A flat at two chord. I played all the notes on my left, but for my right hand, I first played E flat and B flat. Okay, then I added A flat followed by C. Alright, then we're going to replay what we had on E flat minor 7, the same pattern. And we're going to end the intro playing over A flat. The second voice here. From the top. Okay, now we can move on to the verse. We're going to start it playing the one chord. 
flat minus seven with octave B flat, A flat, D flat, and F. Going up a whole step on C minus seven. Octave C, B flat, E flat, and G. Then we have D flat, octave D flat, D flat, F, and A flat. Still going up. We're going to replay E flat minus 7 now, adding D11. So octave E flat, B flat, D flat, E flat, and A flat on top. All right, to continue after that, we have G flat major. That's octave G flat. Playing G flat first inversion, so B flat, D flat, and G flat. Then for the next one, still keeping G flat on the left, we're going to go up and play A flat over G flat. So that's C, E flat, and A flat. Following this one, we're playing F minus 7. Octave F, A flat, C, and E flat. And then later in the verse, we're going to end playing E flat minor, a regular E flat minor. Octave E flat, B flat, E flat, and G flat. So that's the second inversion. And finally, Ending with A flat. Octave A flat, A flat C, and E flat. And that's the chords of the first. So let's recap all that. B flat minus 7. That's our first chord. Then we're going to go up from here. C minus 7. Then D flat. E flat minus 7 at 11. Then G flat. A flat over G flat. F minus 7. Alright. And then coming at the end, we have E flat minor and A flat major. Now, here's the rhythm and playing pattern for the verse. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. So that's the first part of the first verse. We're going to start playing B flat minus 7, first beat of the measure. And then mostly here we're going to play two chords per measure. So that's the first chord played on the first beat, and then the second one on the third beat. Okay? So for the first measure, B flat first beat, C minus 7 on the third. Then we have D flat played on the first beat of the next measure, and then we have this. So on the third beat, I played E flat minus 7. Okay? And then on the fourth, I changed the top note from A flat up to B flat. One, two, three, four. So now on my right hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, and B flat. One, two, three, four. Okay? Then we have G flat, first beat. A flat over G flat on the third. F minus seven, first beat. 
And now here we're going to add again B flat minor seven. So just like the first one on the third beat. Then to end the first part of the verse, we're going to play one full measure over E flat minor seven, and then one full measure over A flat major. So here it is again. Alright, now for the second part of the verse, what we're going to do is repeat the same chord progression, but landing on the last chord, so A flat. Instead of playing it for one measure, we're first going to play A flat sus4 on the first beat and A flat on the third. Okay, so for A flat sus4, play A flat, D flat, and E flat. So you're playing with two and three. And then on the third beat, resolve and play A flat major. So here's the ending of the second part of the verse. One measure of E flat minor, two, three, and then A flat, so it's four. One, two, three, four. And directly after that, we're starting the chorus. So, if you get everything, let's recap and replay it at full speed. And that is all for this part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you guys next week for another hot intro.